Alright, so I wanted to put together a little video here for tubing inside of Inventor. There's not that many videos out there on YouTube that demonstrate how to do a piece of tube in Inventor outside of the tube and pipe environment. Um, I would recommend putting the time into learning how to utilize that part of the software. It's very strong, it's very good, but in this scenario I wanted something quick, simple, dirty. I need to run a piece of pneumatic tube from there to this fitting. Uh, you're going to start out, add your fittings in, make sure everything's constrained, nothing's moving. Uh, we're going to start out with a part. So we're going to create a regular millimeter part, create, name it whatever you want to name it. Uh, I'm going to pick that plane. Alright, so we got a new part. Should be our origin should be centered around that. Okay, looks good. Um, let's see. Next, we're gonna do a 3D sketch. Okay, our 3D sketch is gonna start with our origin around this area. But when we start drawing lines in this sketch, uh, we're not gonna be able to constrain anything, right? We can start there. But when I want to start picking stuff down here, there's nothing to pick to. So we have to do include geometry. So what I typically do in this scenario, I'll include that, I'll include that. Let's see, where's it at? Where'd it go? Very difficult to see. That's why I just use tube and pipe, right? Let's use that. Let's use that sense in a minute. So now when we come in here I can start making some line segments. Now uh, just bear with me these line segments are not going to look like a piece of tube to start out with. So we're going to go from there to there. Come out here somewhere. Okay. Uh, put your cool linear from here to here. That's cool. Get another line segment from here to here. Let's come on out, click OK, do another collinear, constraint to that thing. So now I got these two pieces. Let's go ahead and do one from here to here. What? It didn't constrain right. Ah, now we got that point in there. That point from there to there. All right, cool. Um, so now, what do you do? That don't look like a piece of tube. I use spline, and you've got two options to um, pick from here. It depends in the scenario which one's going to work better. Let's try this version first. So what I'll do is I'll go from here to here to here to here to here to here. And then click Create. How bad does it look? So now, we look at this spline that we created. these around to get kind of situated where we want it. See what I'm doing? I'm making that center path. Um, so the reason from here to here is to make sure as that spline comes into the fitting that it looks like it flows natural into the fitting. Put these in here. And the way you can work with this is you add more line segments, right? More or less line segments. You can also do a split and then add vertex, vertex, vertexes, insert vertex, and tie it 
two other points on your control path. So let's refer to this as our control path. And this is the path that the tube is actually going to follow. So that doesn't look horrible. So let's flow with that. So before we jump out of this sketch, one other thing we got to do, we got to set everything except our path to construction. So I just. Alright, so that way when we go do our sweep, we can select it. So now, before we can do our sweep, we gotta give it a profile. So I just do a standard sketch on one plane. Alright, so I need 12 by, I think it's wall perhaps ah, why are you doing that let's make it one millimeter wall fine that's fine all right so we should be able to sweep this all right select profiles and select it. There it goes. Select your path. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, then of course set your material. See? Alright. Then if you want to go in you can move that um, path around as needed to make it look more natural. But there's just one way.